It is uh, time once again for uh, Appraise This, the Frick and Frack of Nick and Nack are joining us here on Robin Hood Radio. And we say good morning both to Tim and Greg. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning from snowy West Virginia. <laughs> so you're... Good morning from my new recording studio in our office. <laughs> it looks very impressive there, Greg. I mean, you got the lighting nice and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were my, you were my, you're my idol. And so the sound quality. You. And, and by the way, the sound quality is fantastic. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah it's, it's, and it's going to get even better. Oh, there we go. For some you reason. just muted yourself, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he moved. He just muted him. Right, oh, there right. he's back. He's there back. <laughs> There's a learning curve to all of this. Yes, you know? there, there is. And I'm 67, and I've been doing it since I've been 17, and I can tell you the learning curve never ends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's, well, let us get to, uh, uh, to the topic at, at hand, whatever it might be with, between the two of you. Well, Tim's in West Virginia uh, doing an appraisal. Um, yes, doing a, a big estate appraisal. And um, I'm in, <laughs> in the middle of the state and, of course, in the middle of this snowstorm. So interesting, the, um, the woman who is the, uh, the groundskeeper and the manager of the estate, she called me last night at 7 o'clock. She said, have you seen the, the news? And I said, yes. So what are you driving? I said, I made sure that I rented a Jeep Grand Cherokee knowing go. full well <laughs> that it was going to snow. So it's it's uh, it's goes back to my Boy Scout days. Be prepared. <laughs> and that storm is going to go out to the south of us. So uh, um, so you got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are exactly right. So you're driving. Um, so do you, uh, Grand Cherokee. Yeah. Well, it's but that's it's the Kodak larger. moment. I need a photo. It is. Yes. It's, it's yes. Um, but it has all wheel drive. So that's why I wanted to make sure because I know how the snow can get, you know, especially up here uh, in the mountains. But here doing uh, this estate appraisal. And uh, interestingly, you know, we, we talk a lot about uh, people that have things and they have they wonder what, what it is that they have. So I had received just right after the new year uh, a photograph uh, photos through my email of a painting. And it was this painting that this woman described. Her husband took in uh, somebody who was working, who was from China, but came to Florida to do an internship at a company and bought this old car, opened the back, and there was, uh, in, the, in the tire well, there was this beautiful painting. So she concocted this entire story of... There must have been this museum heist and all these paintings were stolen <laughs> and they forgot this one. And she wanted to know, is this a valuable painting and what is this? And I, I had to burst her bubble, unfortunately, and say, no, it it's, um, was a local artist who uh, did these works and, and showed her several, sent her a screenshot of several pieces that have sold at auction that were in the you know, $50 to $200 price range. But when she responded back, she said, well, I really appreciate it. She said, I think we let our imaginations run away from ourselves, but maybe I should write a book. <laughs> I said, you probably could. I said, that would be good. Uh, because we hear about these things, and Greg and I have talked about these things in the past, about these museum heists. And, of course, you hear about one, and you think, "Oh, well, maybe this is one too." So, well, was, this is far interesting. more interesting—a far more interesting story than just saying it came over on the Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> at least it's right. a little more creative, right. but, you know, a little but more creative. Much more creative, much more creative. But the point is, is that what I found interesting is. That this happens with most of the people that we're doing the appraisals for when people want to find out what their items are worth is that they have in their mind, they've already put together this, well, it has to be, well, this and what about this and that? And, oh, all of these, these backstories. And some can be very creative. And this was probably the most creative one, uh, that the, the most creative bubble I've had to burst. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. <laughs> well, I have to say also that last night I went, to, I was at a, a cocktail party for an opening of an event, and uh, someone, we got to talking about what we do for a living, and 
the person says, oh my gosh, I bet you could write a book about some of the stories that, you, that you've, you've uh, been through or that you've witnessed or been part of. And I said, oh my God, how many volumes, how many volumes would you, would you like? Because we have, if we would write down all of the things, <laughs> the weird things that have happened to us, it, it, I think it could be a, a New York best, New York Times bestseller. <laughs> Well, we'd have to change the names. <laughs> a lot of it doesn't well, have the confidential come up information with, there. Yeah, we would change the names to protect the stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but, there's, well, but there's lots of stupidity out there, and it's ac- there, there's some there's some accidental stupidity, but then there's some ingrained stupidity. It's the ingrained stupidity that really gets to you. Anybody can make a stupid mistake. Yes. <laughs> no. Or be creative. Yeah. And, and they could be creative and they're, and they're hoping. That's wonderful. It's when they uh, were working on another, we're working on another brokerage thing, and they just say, no, it has to be this because I believe it has to be this. It's this valuable, so I won't accept less than this. It's like, well, guess what? You're not going to sell it then because <laughs> that isn't where the market is. And it's that kind of thing. It's when, when, especially when you show, here's all the data points that are pointing toward this is the value right here at, let's say, you know, whatever number, thousand dollars. Oh no, I, you know, I, I definitely want seven thousand dollars. I can't do any, anything for less. And then it's like, okay, keep it, keep it. But the interest, and, the interesting thing about creating a backstory, and for people that are that don't understand what a backstory is, if you ever watch TV. And you see Peyton Manning doing his insurance commercials. They've got a new one where he's <laughs> built Peytonville. And he introduces the country singer to it. And the country singer looks at it and says, yeah. And then all of a sudden Peyton Manning starts talking about people within this big village that he's built. And he says to him, you've even got a backstory for this? And he goes, of course, for everybody. <laughs> Nowadays, I think having a backstory, if you have, if you, if you know even the slightest about antiques, can really put people in bad positions because if you're very good, if you're a flim-flam artist and you're very good yeah. at coming up and telling a backstory, <laughs> it's then up to the person who's going to buy it that's got to really investigate and do their due diligence. Most definitely, most definitely. And it's funny that you bring that up because there was one other one. Uh, one of the students from one of my appraisal classes uh, contacted me with a chair that she says was from the Vatican it was uh, sold at the Vatican flea market. <laughs> Apparently, the Vatican just holds a flea market for some okay. of the furniture yep. or something. No, whatever. The Pope has nothing but to do on the weekend. I think <laughs> and, then to, then to hold a flea market. Right. All the Monsignors were out there, you know, peddling their, their, their pews. So, I, I, you know, I don't know. But she, she said that the woman was told that this is from the Vatican and this is da 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 And I told her, I said, you know, I learned this very early on, especially, especially in my career, is that stories are wonderful, they're creative, that's great. But without evidence, it's just a great story. Well, also, so no matter what it is, it's like, okay, it's a Gothic chair. Here it is. It's Victorian Gothic. It's $100. <laughs> that's and, it. And what's interesting <laughs> about that is it could be somebody who lives – Around the Vatican, and they had right. No, and they're not. And lying. they got it at a flea market. And they got it at a flea market. <laughs> that's it. Bingo. I mean, that's so. I mean, that's the real important sto- thing about backstories. Do, you, do your do, do do your due diligence because otherwise. I like your version of the backstory better, Tim. I think it's it's, it's funnier. <laughs> well, I could see the Pope at the Pope at, at, at the at the at the at the yard sale. Uh, someone uh, grabs for for a piece of merchandise that they try to take it, and he's going to smack their hands. He <laughs> smacks their hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's 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 the main cashier i mean yeah, he, he's the big daddy so he's got to be, that's who you have to go to he's the big negotiator yeah uh, you know collections at the vatican have, are down so that's why they started doing these oh yeah there's they're market. selling there and you know and it's not just that um a couple of months ago since we're on this topic another auctioneer friend of mine who has an auction company up in um wisconsin um uh, sent me the uh what they claim to be <laughs> the the big uh, wooden doors of from the Vatican, like these huge, huge doors. And this woman was trying to sell them, and she had all of this this somewhat sketchy paperwork, but it was all copies of copies. Well, that's a big red flag right there. But she said these these doors, they 
they, they, again, they were sold from the Vatican and all this and when they were renovating. Well, uh, come on. And, and I told them, I said, take no offense to this. If that were real, why didn't she go to a larger auction house? She's, what happens is, is that the, the scammers, they try to go to smaller auction houses and, re, you know, small, very small auction houses and say, these are worth millions of dollars and I want you to try to sell it. And they try to just get it out there. And so you have to be very careful with all these stories. I just thought, oh, it's, no, there's no way. <laughs> it's funny when you say backstories. Back when uh, the, this radio station first started, it was purchased by uh, two uh, two people, uh, Stan Gorell and, uh, and Ira Levy. And they would re totally redo the building, totally redo the building. And uh, when they when they decided to paint the building a certain color, they told the Historic District Commission that they had found a chip of paint that that was that color. Now this co this building might have been this color or something like it, but these guys didn't find the chip of paint. There was no chip of paint. They they, they just they just liked the color and they picked the color. The the second thing was the front doors. Uh, they replaced the front doors, and it's a, it's in a historic district now, right? So what did right. they say? They said, "Oh, we found these front doors down in the cellar," and uh, we <laughs> no. These front doors weren't of course found they in the do. cellar. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sitting there now. I back now. This is like what 30 years ago. So I'm sitting there as like a 30 some year old adult saying, "Man, these guys are good at this because wow. <laughs> everybody wow. fell for it." The, you got to sell it. Yeah, well, you know, it's all about selling it. The backstory <laughs> is the most important <laughs> thing about any object. It really is, especially in your business, I would think. So. Well, you know, that's where that I was just going to mention that. That's where provenance comes in. And if this stuff is um, just based on fairy tales, uh, m the any auction house worth its weight will want to question that right from the get-go. Because you, uh, provenance is key uh, when it comes to selling um, high ticket items. And uh, no, no auction house is going to take the word of somebody who says, I just got this at the, uh, the Vatican flea market. <laughs> so. Oh, amazing. It's, uh, well, like I said, uh, I think it's a, you know, I, there was even a Seinfeld episode where George purchased a car from some, supposedly from, from some famous author. And the guy oh, sold, I saw that. And, 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 the, and it wasn't. Of course, the, the author's name was spelled wrong. It was of the same name, but once again, the provenance was not accurate. So, <laughs> Sure. Well, that's it's like not. when we see the Picasso pieces, I say, well, that's Pee Wee Picasso. That's not Pablo. <laughs> that's right. Uh, th these these are all eBay sales we're talking about here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> nice picture outside, looking at that snow, Tim. Yes, that is what I get to go out in just in a little bit. Well, <laughs> just wanted to give you a visual. Sorry. All right. Well, have have fun there. And Greg, your studio also looks great and sounds great. And uh, we'll speak to you guys next week. Hey, great. Next time you speak to me, I will be up to par. Okay. Oh, and. <laughs> And one of our big announcements that we made that we said that we would make last week was that we're getting a puppy. That's right. And when's the puppy arriving? The January 25th. 25th. All right. Yes, her name is Sienna. Sienna. And it'll be a Cocker Spaniel. Cocker right. Spaniel. Well, give, give a big hug when you get Sienna in there for us. Definitely will. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs> take care. Hey, have a good week. week. All right. Bye-bye. Uh, Tim, Tim Luke and Greg Strom, the appraisal guys, the frick and frack of Nick and Knack here on Robin Hood Radio uh, and RobinHoodRadio.com. You can find them, of course, at TQAG.com on uh, the web.